Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to teach you how to make a JK flip-flop using transmission gates. It's a very very simple straightforward circuit if you understand the truth table. Let's quickly write the truth table. This is my previous value. This is my input J, this is my input K and this is my next stage value. Now we know this truth table we have studied in DCD or digital circuit design. Let's quickly fill this up. When all the three inputs are zero or my j and k both are zero my output is my previous value which is qn if my j is zero and my k is one my output is zero if my j is one and my k is zero my output is one irrespective of the previous value and if both of them are one it toggles my previous value was zero now it will toggle and it will be one again as i mentioned when both are zero it will not change from the previous value previous value was one so it will stay one if it's 0, 1, irrespective of the previous stage, my output would be 0. If it's 1, 0, irrespective of my previous stage, my output is going to be equal to 1. If it's 1, 1, it will toggle. So initially in previous state it was 1, then it's 0. From the truth table, if you see properly, what we understand is when my Qn is equal to 0, my output Qn plus 1 is nothing but equal to J. You see, this is what's happening. On the other hand, when my input previous stage was 1, Qn was 1, if you see my output is nothing but k bar. So this is nothing but if I call my Qn as my select line, when Qn is equal to 0, my next stage Qn plus 1 is equal to j. If my Qn is equal to 1, my qn plus 1 is equal to k bar then it boils down to designing just a 2 is to 1 marks using tg which we have already studied followed by a d flip flop why a d flip flop because this will give you the functionality and d flip flop is nothing but whatever is at the input it produces at the output after some value of delay so it's in, it's a buffer basically so this followed by this buffer will make it a flip flop so let's quickly draw it now First, let's do a 2 is to 1 marks using TG. This is, if you are doing 2 is to 1 marks using a pass transistor, this is how it's going to be. Where my select line is equal to QN, previous stage value, and QN bar, J, K bar. And because we are just going to put a TG, so transmission gate, so it's nothing but my PMOS as well, which will be on along with this NMOS, so its input is going to be QN bar. And this is also my PMOS whose input is nothing but qn. So let's short both of this and call this as my output y. This should be followed by a deep flip flop. You can also refer to the clip on deep flip flop of how to use or how to make a deep flip flop using tg. In case you want me to show it here, I can quickly show it to you again. That's not a problem at all. So let's quickly make a deep flip flop using tg as well. Just erase it. Very, very simple it is. So this is nothing but my input D which in this case now is nothing but going to be this input so we have to erase a term D now from here and we are going to do it using TG so this is how the circuit looks followed by an inverter the output of which will go to another inverter this is an double and this will be followed by another TG we have done this in the clip on D flip-flop so there's nothing to worry this output will go here and we'll call this as qn plus 1 yes or no we'll call this as clock and this as clock bar and this is clock here we'll call this terminal as clock and this is clock bar now if you see put some values to clock put some values to j and k and you can see that you'll be able to verify with the truth table what you need to understand from this clip is nothing but this part the left hand side part which is nothing but the 2 is to 1 marks that's the logic which we deduced that when qn is equal to 0 my output qn equal to 0 so qn bar is equal to 1 so I'm sorry so this is just a second this is my qn again so when my qn is equal to 0 my qn bar is equal to 1 and when my qn bar is equal to 1 this will turn on and this will be off so this is not jnk we have just reversed it it's going to be this way we just said that let's call this as j this is k bar qn equal to 1 that means qn bar is equal to 0 
that means this transistor will be on and it will pass k bar at the output vice versa when qn is equal to zero this would be on along with this transistor and will pass j and this is followed by a deep flip flop hope you have understood what is a jk flip flop stay tuned for further clips thank you very much